It's loads of fun jamming and producing music inside of Cubases 3. But one of the most exciting things to be able to do in Cubases is actually record audio. So record an instrument or a vocal. And I've got my electric guitar plugged into a Steinberg UR44 interface, which I have connected to my iPad and Cubasis. I've got a loop cycle set up between my left and right locators, and now I'm creating an audio track. So this is going to be the track that I'm going to record my electric guitar through. The new track is called Track 8, and it's highlighted in the mixer. I'm just turning on the monitor button so that I can hear what I'm playing and make sure I get the level right. The Record Enable button is just below the monitor button, and that tells Cubasis which channel we're actually going to record on. If I want, I can go into my Insert Effects, and I could add something like the Channel Strip. So the Channel Strip gives me some dynamic options so that I can control the audio that's coming in through the channel. The other thing I could do is add an amp simulator. So electric guitars weren't designed to sound good, plugged direct into an interface. So the amp simulator simulates some of the classic amplifiers. So straight away, it's altered my guitar sound to have some great tone that I can use to start jamming with. Now I've simply hit record, and I'm recording over and over and over again. So I'm recording a number of takes. Now I'm adding some more audio tracks and I'm just going to simply drag those guitar takes that I did down into these new tracks. Now they're not going to bring the inserts or the effects with them. We're going to worry about that later. For now, let's solo these individual parts and start to use the handles on the bottom left and right corner to isolate the parts that we want to keep. So I'm just using my fingers here and I'm making the part smaller by altering the left and the right side handles. Now that I've done that, I can put in crossfades and I can also turn the snap to the grid off, which means that I can freely move these events around and fix or correct any timing issues that I might have. So for instance, this isn't lining up exactly with the grid and it sounds a little bit out of time. So all I'm doing is just using my finger to drag my performance left and right and make sure I get that time really locked in. So there's lots of different editing options. We can also go into the audio editor window and do things like process different selected parts of sound. So I've just reversed this one guitar note here, which gives me a kind of cool affected sound. When I'm finished, if I want to, I can continue to tidy up the start and the end of these events, and I can put the guitar back on one track and name the track. So lots of different options for us in terms of recording audio and also quickly editing audio and now i can go in and add some more color and that might be adding some ambience so for example i'm putting a delay over the top of this electric guitar sound just to warm it up a little bit more please take the time to check out all the cubasis 3 videos i'll catch you there